It's the final go home episode for Smackdown Live before Wrestlemania. Is it as good as Raw or is it just like every other Smackdown episode we have had in the last couple of months? Let's find out guys. This is Smack Talks Wrestling Review. So we started off the show with Daniel Bryan and Shane O'Mac. And it was pretty much a standard, I'm sorry for being a jerk segment, we need to work together. And that was quite good, I liked that there was quite a bit of banter between Daniel Bryan and Shane O'Mac. That they said look, last seven months, both men have used their emotions a little bit too much. For Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens where Daniel looked at them as friends from the indies. And Shane saw them as enemies after attacking his dad. And that was great, and the, pretty much it was a, what reminded me of a lot of was Team Helena where Shane and Daniel hugged it out. The crowd was really important in that segment, the crowd was amazing when Daniel came out. They weren't as pumped to see Shane, but let's be honest, everyone's just so excited that Daniel's going to be back in the ring. Every time he's going to be coming out now, it's just going to be huge pops. And to be honest, it built up their match between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania quite well. It got me excited, so no complaints. It's a better starting segment than what we got on Raw, so not too bad. Our first match of the night was Charlotte taking on Natalia. Now, this was a rematch from a few weeks ago where Natalia got the win when Carmella tried to cash in. Um, pretty much, it was exactly the same. It was a good match between Charlotte and Natalia, both hard hitting, and it looked like Charlotte was going to get the win. Uh, Natalia had a great offensive towards it and pushed Charlotte. That caused Carmella to come back out to try and cash in again. Charlotte got up quite quickly, kicked the suitcase away, beat the crap out of Carmella. And then Natalia tried to roll her up again to get another pinfall. Luckily enough, Charlotte reversed that into a figure eight, gets the tap out, gets the win. And the best bit about it was. Oscar coming out saying she's not ready. Charlotte takes the mic off her and goes, I'm ready. And that built up the match. Not a lot of words being said. They haven't really been really interactive between the two of them. But it was very exciting and it really does again build up the Charlotte Oscar match full stop. Second match of the night was Rusev taking on Jinder Mahal. And to be honest, it wasn't anything special, guys. Not expecting it to be, but Rusev getting the win was absolutely the right booking decision the night before. Well, you know, the show before WrestleMania definitely pro improves that. The crowd are so behind Rusev Day, it's unbelievable. He came out and it was the biggest pop ever. He, even Bobby Roode doesn't get that kind of pop and he's meant to be the bigger babyface in that whole fatal four-way match for the US title. Talking about Bobby Roode, he was on commentating and Randy Orton was watching backstage. After Rusev did get the win, obviously the Viper struck. RKO out of nowhere, Aiden English protecting his friend, attacked Randy Orton. Bobby Roode pushed Aiden English into an RKO. And then both men, just Bobby Roode and Randy Orton, giving each other that look like, look, these two can fight it out, but us two are going to battle. And I cannot wait to see how the fatal four-way match between these four men for the US title all goes down at WrestleMania. Next up, we did have an eight-man tag team match, and Baron Corbin won that. That's not important. It was pretty much a ton of mid-carders, but the biggest thing in this whole match was Primo, Cologne was there. One of the Colognes were he there? I thought they got released from SmackDown. Nope, they still weren't there. They were in a match. One of them was in a match at least. And I was so shocked. I was like, oh, who's that jobber in? Oh, that's Primo. Who the heck? Where the hell's he been for like two years? But no, he was in the match. That was probably the biggest thing about the whole match. Baron Corbin won it for his team. He had Dolph Ziggler, Primo, and. Mojo Bones, the heels, and on the babyface team you had Ty Dillinger, Zack Ryder, and Breezango. To be honest, nothing really to talk about, but 
Interesting fact, apparently Fandango's been on in every Andre the Giant Memorial match. Did not know that. So we had Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn invade SmackDown live. Uh, they came out and pretty much ranted that they're going to get their jobs back. They're going to destroy Daniel Bryan's return. And to be honest, I've actually missed these guys on TV for the last few weeks. Not seeing them was a bit of a disappointment. But obviously they had to come back for the last show before WrestleMania. And they cut a good promo, it was fun, uh, the mics got cut and they decided to run for it. Daniel Bryan and Shane O'Mac come out, look at them, say, Sammy you tried to get the fans to sing along with you earlier, here we go, na 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 na, na 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 na, way, goodbye. And the crowd enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, Sammy and Sh Sammy and Kevin's just got a great chemistry where they just go berserk with the crowd. It was very entertaining, so much fun. Cannot again, good way to build up the Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Shane O'Mac and Daniel Bryan match at WrestleMania. Definitely looking forward to that. And this moves us on to our main event of the night, where we had a tag team match between Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles taking on Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, you have to say it like that. Um, but yeah, it, to be honest with you, I was a bit reluctant to see, you know, very traditional WWE thing. Oh, it's the last show. The two guys who are going to fight out for the WWE title have to work together before their big match at WrestleMania. But to be honest, good opponents to have. Chad Gable and Chad Benjamin are very talented. They great. They are great heels to work against if you have two baby faces. And to be honest. I enjoyed every second of Chad Gable and Chad Benjamin looks very dominant towards the whole match. Um, I mean, AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura hit the higher gear and literally destroyed them. AJ getting the win over Chad Gable, that was good. Gives AJ that bit of momentum going into WrestleMania. And then we had a reversal from what happened last week. Chad get, uh, Shelton Benjamin attacks Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura fights him off. AJ is about to hit him with the forearm. Nakamura heels down like, oh god. I mean, AJ just taps him on the head. And that was great. It was entertaining, very exciting. And you can see how well this, you know, this friendly rivalry kind of rivalry has built up quite well towards WrestleMania. Really looking forward. This could be the match of the night at WrestleMania AJ versus Nakamura. I also want to talk quickly about a backstage segment which did happen on the show where we did have the Usos talk about getting WrestleMania for free. It was like an advert because all the way through SmackDown it felt like an advert for the WWE Network. And they were talking about it, Big E was pulling out laptops and uh, iPhones and iPads out of everywhere and the Usos came out. Cut a great promo against them. The Bludgeon Brothers came out of nowhere and destroyed the camera. Hey, I thought that was a really good segment. Builds up their match quite well. I just don't like the old, oh, you can watch WrestleMania for free if you're a new subscriber. But yeah, that's fine. Really excited now for their match. But I just wanted to talk about it quickly because I thought it was actually quite insane how the New Day were taking the mick out of this whole advertising WrestleMania on the network. And there you go guys, that was my down live for this week. What did I think? I thought it was quite a, it was slightly better than what we've got in recent weeks for SmackDown Live. But altogether, it was quite basic. Um, but you kind of expect that now. Really looking forward to the matches at WrestleMania. Cannot wait to see how it all goes down on Sunday. Please if you do like our videos, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on the old Twitter at Boise88. And you can follow us at Smack Talk Wrestling at Smack Talk Rest well, Smack Talk YouTube. And if you do enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews.